How you guys? I want to get on here and get a reaction to something that I didn't really want to do a reaction on, but I decided I would do a reaction on it. Basically, we're getting on here and we're getting to the point where I'm going to do what's called um, the Hot Topics. Uh, basically, we get on here and we're seeing, fast forward today, that actually Yaya Merriweather, that actually um, finally um, seen the baby. Um, her, her actual um, baby was actually in the hospital. But in other news, I also want to get on here and let everybody know that I actually um, do reactions over here. And most importantly, that I love doing reactions over here. I don't just do the three moms. I do reactions on everybody. But today, I'm doing a reaction on an actual TV show that I actually saw. And that is Put a Ring on It. Basically, um, Put a Ring on It is basically um, a sit-down type series where everybody is actually um, presented with the option of whether or not they want to actually date outside of the relationship. And the reason why they're dating outside of the relationship is because they're actually putting it, the relationship to the test, per se, if that makes sense. But yeah, um, I, um, I'm not going to dwell on that particular thing. I'm going to also get a reaction on what I also saw, and that is Roland Ray. Um, a lot of people are giving him flack in these streets because of some of the things that he said to certain people. They're trying to say that he's getting his karma, but I don't really think that he's getting his karma. I think the main thing that, that people have to understand that this man was actually in a wheelchair and he was doomed from the beginning. Now, they're saying that he actually had to have uh, reconstructive surgery because he basically was burned over a large percent of his body. I don't want to say how much percent because I don't know for sure. But he took Tasha K's live and he actually was... Um, uh, actually doing the live from his actual bed before he had surgery but they're saying post-op after surgery he actually passed out 11 times and he had to have a transfusion uh, I've, I don't have never had any um, personal experience from a transfusion but I've heard people say that actually it's painful uh, and the fact that he actually passed out lets you know exactly what was going on his body basically um, was shocked in other words uh, we're all going to, I am praying for Roller Ray because I remember Roller Ray when he's on divorce court. That's the first time I actually laid eyes on him. He actually was in the wheelchair, but basically came on point for people that don't know what happened. Basically he was in the wheelchair. He has what, what a lot of people wear those famous little, um, wigs that they do, but his actually was, uh, glued on, glued on something, something that, you know, I don't, I don't tell people to do glue on those lace ones. He glued it on and he actually lit a cigarette. And when he lit the cigarette, he says out of his own words that it actually, you know, caught on fire and he caught on fire. Now, people were trying to be funny telling him that he needed to drop, stop, drop and roll. My thing is he can't stop, drop and roll if he's in a wheelchair. He said what really saved his life is that a friend of his helped him and he got him to the hospital. And that, thus, that's how he got here. But um, the interview that Tosh K did with him, I think she threw a lot of shade on Roland Ray. Because a lot of people, um, as far as like artists are concerned, he is actually was coming for them. And they was actually saying that he needed to be humble because at the end of the day, they think that's the reason why he got the position he got in. I don't think it had anything to do with karma. I just think it was a freak accident, something that actually happens to people. You can't control that. My thing is, I hope Roland Ray um, bounces back and does what he normally do and that's start drama because, you know, he is uh, actually, if you're familiar with IG, he is Roland Ray on IG. He's actually uh, real big over there. But I don't know the backstory on how he got in the wheelchair. Uh, that part I can't say anything about, but I'm hoping that he'll bounce mm. back. I want to see the after effects of that thing because I'm thinking this ain't gonna be uh walking apart for him because he basically got to heal. Most important, I think he got to have multiple surgeries for that. But it looked like from what I could see on the live that he actually uh he was burned a whole whole lot. His whole face was burned and they had like the little mesh bandages on his face, so you really couldn't tell. But I'm hoping that he's doing well right now. I'm trying to get on there and see what else I can find out. Then the other news, they're also saying that actually Kodak Black was actually released. He was pardoned by the president. My thing is, I was I was hoping to see that he the part the, the president had that kind of power to you know release somebody we want to see, and that is Bill Cosby. But yeah, that's neither here nor there. But I'm just giving y'all the hot topics of things that I'm hearing in these YouTube streets and um, things that are going on. But yeah, as far as the three moms, I'll be doing another update of them later. I'm going to do a three-part update because I already did two videos. If they, if you if you are a fan, you know, to check those videos out. But yeah, I just had to get on here and get that, that little um, reaction to Roller Ray. I thought it was really, really sad what happened to him. And also, I want to get here and let everybody know that um, my channel 
is growing. I appreciate everybody. I'm noticing you, and I appreciate everybody that's actually commenting. And most importantly, I like the fact that everybody's actually subscribing to my channel. I'm getting a lot more exposure. Uh, most people that know me know I started off on Facebook. I'll be doing a lot more lives over there, but I appreciate everybody that's on YouTube that's following me. Hopefully, more people will like and subscribe. But in other news, we also decided that we would... um talking about Lamar Odom and actually his particular um girlfriend. Him and Lamar her and Lamar are not together anymore, but people are giving her a lot of flack in these streets because first of all, Lamar is to the point everybody was saying that he's broke. I personally don't think that Lamar is broke. I just think he's been broken. It's a difference. I think he got with this young lady post uh Chloe. He was thinking that, you know, he was going to start a new thing and they was going to be together. But, you know, I follow her on IG. I don't see anything bad that she's actually done. But mm -hmm. I can see the main reason why a lot of people are saying that they didn't, they think she didn't stick around. They mm -hmm. thought she thought he was going to get that reality show and he didn't. Mm -hmm. Now, this kind of me making me get her the side eye. But when he got on IG and basically blasted mm -hmm. her, I wasn't here for it. Now, other news, which is sad news on my end, was we're still waiting to hear about Tim Norman. See whether or not he actually is not only going to meet in court. And see how this thing gonna pan out. Now, from what I'm hearing, they're saying allegedly that the the uh, death penalty is being taken off the table. Now, it was on the table at first, but I'm gonna do another video of that, and I'm gonna actually have research on that. I'm gonna make sure that you guys know exactly what's going on with that, because I'm following that because I'm trying to figure out first of all why he did, and most importantly, what he thought his thought was gonna happen as a result of it. Because um, I don't know about y'all, but I follow Sweetie Pies and Miss Robbie and. It's not a thing where it's not even about news. It just is what it is. And to the point where lives were affected. And most importantly, we need to get to the bottom of it. Now, according to what I have been told and what I have seen, Tim basically um, tried to kill his uh, nephew. And he did. He killed him. But he had other people in on it. He had an ex-stripper. And he also had another guy that he wired the money to. That's why the other guy did. But uh, fast forward to today, they're saying that the last guy was... Uh, brought in about two months ago but uh, i'm gonna give you guys an update on that and most importantly i'm gonna do a series that i normally do and i'm gonna start doing over here and that's messy monday i'm gonna do a messy monday where i just basically let you know everything what's going on give you a recap and, and give you the tea on what's going on i appreciate everybody subscribing to my channel and until the next video you guys thanks